Decades of neglect have left America's wastewater infrastructure outdated and deteriorating. And as a result, sewage spills and system failures release approximately 900 billion gallons of undertreated sewage into our waters every year. All new tonight, the head of Hilo's wastewater treatment plant warns the facility is in danger of complete failure. Swim at your own risk, you're risking infection. Here in Hawaii, there are nearly 88,000 cesspools that discharge 53 million gallons of sewage into coastal waters every day. Rising sea levels and more frequent extreme weather events brought on by climate change are only making the situation worse. But why is this happening and what can we do about it? We talk to surf riders, activists, and experts to find out more about what's going on and what can be done. Hey, my name's Don Fujiyama. I'm a surf instructor at the Royal Hawaiian uh, Hotel in Waikiki. And every other weekend on Sunday, we come here to do water testing for the Surf Rider Foundation for the Blue Water Task Force. There are two sites here in Waikiki. One's right here, and then the other's over there. It's not what we can see, because we don't always see it till a couple days later, and then think, Ugh, I'm glad I took a shower. <laughs> but, you know, and again, it's not always what you can see that comes out in the, in the testing. We've done this for about four years now, you know, and it's, it's, it's really good information to have, because it's not just this area where all the people are, but in other areas like Chocolates, or, you know, even in Hakipu on the other side of the island where there's more rain. Here we are down at the spot we've called the Hakipu'u boat ramp. It's very close to the bottom of the earth. That's just right around about uh, maybe 50 yards over there where the awai comes out. And this of course is the other awai, the, the irrigation that runs through the native taro patches that are still organized as they were for thousands of years and comes down and out to sea here. What really brought us to understanding what the Blue Water Task Force is and how important it is was a call from the guy who runs the testing, Brother Dan, saying, we hear you are doing water testing in Hakipu'u. We'd like to add this as a spot for testing. We have no data whatsoever from the north end of Kaneohe Bay. And that kind of blew me away, but it's understandable. A lot less access out this side of the bay. It was almost better for all the years of not knowing what we swam in and, and played and raised our kids in. And yet to recognize the, that this is just one point on a map in a large bay on an island with over a million people on it. Our citizen science water quality monitoring is really important, not only because they're collecting the data, but we have so much data for certain places that we can see where the chronically polluted areas are. And from there, we can really affect policy change or specifically target areas to address where is that pollution coming from and how can we address that specific source of pollution to ensure that that area of water is cleaner for ocean users. To learn how you can get involved and help protect clean water for all people, visit surfrider.org.